Hey guys, it's me, J Dynamite. Yeah, it's now J Dynamite. It's no longer JTSG. Sorry. Well, now I'm J Dynamite, so. Here with another Q&A video. So this is the third one in a span of about, what, what, uh, what a week? So in this video, we're gonna begin with a question from Darzet. If you haven't seen Darzet's videos, uh, check them out. Uh, he really does great videos. I'll leave you the link in the description for his channel so you can check him out. Uh, he His question is, why did you start doing videos? Well, I started doing videos because I I just wanted to have fun on the internet, you know? You know, just to... It's just to do my thing, you know? Second question comes from Wi-Fi. Why did why do you prefer the PS4 to the Xbox One? Uh, ever since I was a kid and I had like four years of age when I started to play PlayStation, I, you know I've always been a PlayStation kind of guy. I, I've been ha playing the PlayStation since uh, PlayStation One, and and you know, and, uh, you know, so many memories with the PlayStation. And uh, I've been a PlayStation player throughout my entire life. And now that doesn't that doesn't mean I wouldn't try out the Xbox One, uh, but I would lean a little bit more towards towards the PlayStation Four side because uh, in on the for the PlayStation it, there are exclusives that they don't bring for the Xbox One. For example, MLB The Show is a video game that doesn't come for the Xbox, so that, that's one of the reasons why I lean more towards the PlayStation side, so, yeah. Third question coming from their fight. In a late game situation, do you, who do you trust to make the game winning three pointer out of the whole Hawks roster? I don't think there's a question, I don't think there's a need to question this. I would go with Kyle Korver uh, to make the game winning three pointer. I mean, he's just a killer three-point shooter. I mean, he man, he can he can make a lot of three-pointers. Next question coming from Madeline Rose: What is your favorite shoe brand? Nike. Nike. M Nike is my favorite shoe brand. Uh, yeah. Fifth question coming from Superwoman: Do you think Nick Young is improving? I don't think he's improving. I mean, I think he's just uh, just about on the same level he was last year. If not a bit, a tiny worse. You know, a bit worse. You know. Sixth question. Sorry. Next question coming from Nightmare Fuel. Drew Brees or Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers. I mean, Drew Brees is great, but Aaron Rodgers just allows less interceptions. He has like. The one of the best, you know, if not the best, touchdown to interception ratio in history. Uh, next question coming from CXBX2174. How many video games do you have? Uh, well, counting all the all the consoles I have, I say like probably over twenty, if not thirty, video games. Uh, a lot of them being from PlayStation 2 or Wii or some from PlayStation 3 a lot of them from Nintendo DS back when I used to have Nintendo DS uh, yeah, so yeah uh, next question coming from Grizzly Beer who is your favorite NFL player Tom Brady Tom, Tom Brady uh, next question coming from Chaytard. What's your Western Conference and Eastern Conference Finals predictions in the NBA playoffs this year? For the Western Conference, I have the Golden State Warriors facing off against the San Antonio Spurs. And in the Eastern Conference, maybe uh, Paul George versus LeBron James rematch. Pacers versus... Cavaliers, perhaps. The the Pacers are do, are doing really great this year. I mean, 
I mean, they, they, have a, they have a good record so far this year, so there might be a possibility that there might be a Paul George, LeBron James rematch in the, in the Eastern Conference Finals this year. That's my prediction, however, so. And the last few questions coming from their flight. How good do you think Steve Nash is? Steve Nash is a future Hall of Famer. I mean, he has done so many things in the NBA. Uh, he won a couple of MVPs, I, I believe, and they were back-to-back. -back. And just a brand of offense that he used to play was just outstanding. I mean, that that guy could pass the ball and you wouldn't even notice it, though. Uh, what is your favorite food? Pizza. You would give me pizza and I will eat it. I wouldn't even think twice about it. Okay. Have you ever been to an NBA game? Well, I don't know if you... If you will include preseason games with this, but I've actually been to a couple of uh, preseason NBA games here in Puerto Rico. There was one in 2005 between the Miami Heat and the Memphis Grizzlies. And that was back when Shaquille O'Neal was with the Miami Heat. Then the following year, in 2006, I actually went to uh, another game in Puerto Rico, which was the Miami Heat taking on the, the Detroit Pistons. And that was the time where... Carlos Arroyo was with the Detroit Pistons. And on both of those games, the the Miami Heat lost the game. And I, I don't know. They were good games, however. Good games. Uh, do you like WWE? No, I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that much of a fan of WWE. I mean, I don't hate it neither, but I just don't... Mm, and that, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean I don't know I have some things about the WWE, I mean, uh, some of the wrestlers, so, uh, at least in the most, some of the most popular ones, because from time to time, uh, my cousin, my cousins share, one of my cousins share a post, a couple of posts about WWE, uh, yeah. Last question, com uh, coming from their flight. Who do you think is going to win Rookie of the Year in the NBA? Well, I don't know if you might agree with me here, but I would I would say that Kristaps Porzingis might be the uh, this year's Rookie of the Year in the NBA. I mean, he, this guy it gave a big shot to to Knicks fans and in NBA fans everywhere. I mean, back in the draft. When the Knicks drafted Kristaps Porzingis, people were booing all over the place, like they, they like the Knicks had done the biggest mistake ever. And Stephen A. Smith had had, had you know, he was he was raging about the Knicks drafting Kristaps Porzingis. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, who's slapping now, huh? And there, uh, there were some even there was even some commercials, uh, uh, you know, of NBA games coming up that they were rapping about Kristaps Porzingis. I mean, th this guy has done uh, <laughs> so many things that I uh, I think a lot of NBA fans didn't expect to see. So it, it's just amazing. I mean, uh, uh, for now I have. Porzingis as the Rookie of the Year in the NBA. Uh, Khalil Okafor might be another candidate for the Rookie of the Year. Also, D'Angelo Russell might be another one of the candidates. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Those. That's my list of, you know, the, my candidates. And so far, standing at number one would be Porzingis. Or at least, you know, if the top two must be Porzingis and Okafor. Although Okafor is uh, going to, to, to 
through some tough situations, so I'm not sure if they're going to let him be rookie of the year, even, even if he has the best rookie season ever, so I don't know. So yeah, that, those were the questions for today's Q&A, and if you have any more questions for uh, Q&A videos, just let me know in the comment section, and I'll be glad to answer them. Pretty good questions for today's Q&A. Shout out to Darth Death. Uh, he makes great videos. Yeah, he makes Fallout 4 videos. He makes a lot of videos. I mean, he, this guy is, is just amazing. So shout out to Darthev. I will leave you the link in the description to his channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.